In Maryland, where Linda Tripp lives, it is illegal to tape someone without his or her consent. Prosecutors there will have to decide whether to bring charges against Tripp. But secret taping is perfectly legal in most states. And as NBC's Pete Williams tells us in depth tonight, watch out, because more and more people are doing it. Do not do this. For now, Linda Tripp is off the hook in Maryland, where she secretly recorded nearly 20 hours of her phone calls with Monica Lewinsky. Today, the local prosecutor, who's a Republican, says she'll hand the issue off to the nonpartisan state prosecutors. Whatever we do, or what we don't do, will be subject to charges of political partisanship and political motivation. What Linda Tripp did to Monica Lewinsky is the latest example of a secret and growing practice. People spying on each other at home and on the job to document wrongdoing. Surprisingly, it's legal in most places. In 38 states, you don't need permission from the person you're talking with to record the conversation. The other 12 states, including Maryland, where Linda Tripp lives, ban taping unless all parties agree. But the laws are rarely enforced because prosecutors must show that those making the tapes knew the practice was illegal, always tough to prove. Whatever happens, Tripp's taping is sparking big business in shops nationwide that sell tiny but sensitive gadgets for recording conversations. I could take the mic and make a fist and waltz my hand, I'll whisper like this, test, test, test. I can make a fist and waltz my hand, I'll whisper like this, test, test, test. I could be sitting across the table from you and I could be nothing but a shorts and a t-shirt, and I can have a recorder on me discreetly recording that conversation. And more micro-recorders are out there, some that even look like pins. A lawyer who represents whistleblowers says the number of his clients using them to try to prove fraud complaints has doubled. The tapes are extremely useful. They can make a case where you could otherwise lose it. The murder trial of Louise Woodward, the British au pair, has encouraged more secret taping of a different kind. Home video using hidden cameras in radios and even stuffed animals. Florida parents used a similar device a year and a half ago to tape their nanny, suspected of mistreating their infant son. What they saw shocked them. I don't know if I can put it into words how I felt, what I felt like doing to her. Prosecutors used the video to convict that nanny of child abuse, but sometimes those making the tapes get in trouble. A law student at Washington University in St. Louis faces criminal charges for using a camera hidden in a clock radio to tape himself having sex with women he dated. Privacy advocates worry that too much secret taping is going on, eroding trust. I think most Americans think that uh, the use of covert tape recording is a dirty business and ought to be reserved only for very major crimes like drug dealing. Even so, as taping gadgets get smaller and cheaper, they're giving people powerful tools to settle their grievances tools that once belonged only to journalists and the government. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. Still ahead tonight, although...